All right, guys, so let's talk about a little bit more advanced um, types of tutorials for the editor. So if we come into the edit page again, um, what we can see here is currently we're looking at desktop, right? But there's also a mobile setting, right? So we can toggle between what they look like on desktop and mobile. Um, and you know, the funnels that I give you are optimized for it for mobile and for desktop. And so you don't have to worry about it for the funnels that you use for me. But for example, like if you added a button here and like in, in every button, um, you'll see a couple of things, right? The font size, but you'll also see the mobile size, right? So you want to make sure that it's optimized both mobily and for desktop. Um, because they do default to being the same and depending on you know what your page setup looks like as far as like rows and elements and things like that sometimes it can be goofy if like for example your mobile size is too big and you know on your uh, on your desktop it's too small and things like that so you always want to be checking both desktop and mobile because I usually get about 50% of my traffic from desktop and 50% of my traffic from mobile so it's very important to check both of them so that is how you do um, yeah, you know, both mobile and desktop. And something something else to note is each time you click an element down here in the bottom, um, it you can dictate what it shows on. So for example, let's say that I wanted a button to only appear on desktop or only appear on mobile. So I can clone this. And for this one, I can choose, you know, desktop only. And for this one, I can choose desktop only also, right? And then when we check mobile, the button's gone, right? But if I do, you know, mobile only here, um, now the button's back. Um, and if I do mobile only for both of them, then when I look at the desktop version, there's no button, right? And so what you can do is you can, you know, only show certain things on mobile, only show certain things on desktop, or you can just show it, uh, each element on both mobile and desktop. So that's something that took me a long time to figure out um, and is super, super valuable for you guys. Um, and so the next thing that I want to talk about is row templates and page templates. So for example, let's say that you had a bunch of different cheat sheets and you wanted to duplicate, you know, this image with this text. Uh, this header, this text, and this button. So what we can do is we can come up and save right here. And we can call this, you know, cheat sheet header. We can save it as a personal template. And then when we go down here to add new row, we'll see that there's a layout and then there's a my rows. And in my rows, all of a sudden we can choose that template that we chose. And this is so incredible. took me to figure this out and it saved me so much time. It's unbelievable. Um, and you guys learned it in 10 seconds from a basically free course. So, um, you're welcome. <laughs> so the next thing is how to make an actual uh, page template. So let's say that I like this page a lot, right? And I wanted to, um, you know, be able to insert this page into any of my other funnels. What I would do is go to settings general, and then I'm going to go to save page as template and we'll call this cheat sheet opt in. We're going to go to create template and then it's going to say page template was successfully created. And then now let's say, for example, that we wanted to add that page into a new funnel. We can go to add new step here, right? Because all funnels are chronological. They start at the top and then when people click buttons, you know, uh, if the button action is set to submit page, then it'll go to the next step. But let's say that we wanted to add that page to like some other funnel. We're going to call this one cheat sheet opt in template. We'll just put Ninja for the path and we're going to create it. Oh, and then it's going to, it's going to be a question mark here until we actually choose the one, right? And you can say show only my templates. Um, and we're going to do email opt-in, right? So the one we did, I believe, well, let's try miscellaneous. Yes, here it is. So cheat sheet opt-in. So we're going to select this template and it's going to pre-build out that complete page that we can add to any funnel guys. And that's a beautiful, beautiful, amazing thing. That's so easy to just, it's basically like copy and pasting an entire website, right? Which is so difficult to do. It's ridiculous. And it's so easy to do in click funnels guys. So that's mobile settings and desktop settings, how to make elements, you know, mobile only or desktop only or both. Uh, and then how to save row templates and how to save entire page templates um, in ClickFunnels. Um, that tutorial alone, I've literally um, has blown people's minds who've paid twenty thousand dollars for consulting with me. Um, and um, I hope you guys realize just inc how incredibly valuable understanding how to utilize you know all of those different tools is for your business. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one, guys. And let's get to the next.